Hey there toy enthusiasts! Welcome back to Toys That Made Us Happy! Today we have a special treat for all you Power Rangers fans out there, we are going to review these Power Rangers and Space Lightning collection from Hasbro, and this time is the villains called the Psycho Rangers. Well, we already review Psycho Red in the other video, which is twin pack with the Red Galaxy Ranger, but now we have all the colors to review them. Well, before we begin, I would like to encourage everyone to subscribe my channel, as I will do a lots of review on my collections and future hauls as well. Thank you for your time to watch my other videos, I am really appreciated and please comment your thoughts, so that I could keep in touch with everyone. Now, let's review them together. Let's begin with Psycho Red, wow, he has an effect parts, interchangeable hands and a sword, Psycho Red, as the leader of the Psycho Rangers, was indeed portrayed as the most powerful, evil, and violent member of the team, his primary goal was to defeat the Red Space Ranger, Andros, and the other Space Rangers, the Psycho Rangers were known for their ruthlessness and single-minded determination to destroy their Power Ranger counterparts, Okay, let's see on his detail. The Psycho Red's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show, although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, his arms unable close up his waist. Despite of the minus, I am glad that his articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out his sword, I love the gradient paint from black to white, which gives this figure slashing effects. The handle is great with the spiral hook, this sword is sculpted similar to the show. Okay then, let's proceed. This is Psycho Blue. Wow. He has interchangeable hands and an axe. Psycho Blue is depicted as a powerful and malevolent force, aiming to defeat and destroy his corresponding Power Ranger, the Blue Space Ranger. The Psycho Rangers are known for their unique abilities, ruthless tactics, and relentless pursuit of their objectives. Okay, let's see on his detail. The Psycho Blue's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show, although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, his arms unable close up his waist similar to Psycho Red, despite of the minus, I am glad that his articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out his axe, I love the blue lining at the corner of the axe. This axe is sculpted similar to the show. Okay then, let's proceed.
This is Psycho Black. Wow. He has interchangeable hands and bow staff. Psycho Black is depicted as ruthless and determined to eliminate his corresponding Space Ranger. Carlos, like the other Psycho Rangers, Psycho Black possesses unique abilities and powers that make him a formidable adversary for the Power Rangers. Okay, let's see on his detail. The Psycho Black's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show. Although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, his arms unable close up his waist similar to others. Despite of the minus, I am glad that his articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out his staff. I love the details at the top of the staff. Pretty amazing. It is also sculpted similar to the show. Okay then, let's proceed. This is Psycho Yellow. Wow. She has an effect part with interchangeable hands and slinger blaster. Psycho Yellow is characterized by being powerful, aggressive, and possessing unique abilities that make her a formidable adversary for the Power Rangers. The Psycho Rangers are known for their single-minded focus on defeating their corresponding Space Rangers and causing chaos. Okay, let's see on her detail. The Psycho Yellow's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show. Although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, her arms able close up her waist which is different from male body. Her elbow only has one ball joint which on rotates 90 degrees. Despite of the minus, I'm glad that her articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out her slinger. I love the details at sides of the slinger. Pretty amazing. It is also sculpted similar to the show. Okay then, let's proceed. This is Psycho Pink. Wow. She has an effect part, interchangeable hands and bow. Psycho Pink, like her counterparts, is portrayed as a powerful and ruthless adversary. She possesses unique abilities and is relentless in her pursuit of the Pink Space Ranger. The conflict between the Space Rangers and the Psycho Rangers, including Psycho Pink, adds a layer of tension and danger to the series. Okay, let's see on her detail. The Psycho Pink's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the show. Unfortunately, her helmet is shaky, not like the others. Although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, her arms able close up her waist which is different from male body. 
Her elbow only has one ball joint which on rotates 90 degrees. Despite of the minus, I'm glad that her articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out her bow. I love this bow as it has a string on it to portray like in the show. Pretty amazing. Okay then, let's proceed. This is Psycho Green. Wow. He has an effect part, interchangeable hands and dagger. Psycho Green is a character that originates from the Power Rangers comic book series, rather than the television series. The character was introduced in the Boom Studios Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic series, specifically in the Shattered Grid storyline. In Shattered Grid, Psycho Green is a unique and powerful ranger-like character who serves as the loyal and zealous enforcer of Lord Draken, an alternate reality version of Tommy Oliver, the original Green Ranger. Okay, let's see on his detail. The Psycho Green's helmet is amazing as it reassembles in the comic, although the paint job is quite decent, but the molding of its detail is there and spot on. Sadly, his arms unable close up his waist similar to others. Despite of the minus, I'm glad that his articulation is smooth and poseable without hassle. Check out his dagger. I love the detail of this dagger as it has a string on it to portray like in the comic. Pretty amazing. Okay then, let's wrap up. In conclusion, all these figures are fantastic addition to any action figure collection. Although there is some hip cups on its detail, but it is great collect them and showcase to your shelves. This makes it a must have for fans of the character and the lightning collection line. Don't miss out on these amazing figures. That's it for today's review, folks. If you are first time watch on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell for more awesome toy reviews. And also if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment, and subscribe to toys that made us happy for more awesome toy reviews, unboxings, and assembly guides as well. Until next time, and remember, keep collecting and stay happy. Goodbye!